the crap I do for you guys. <laughs> this is dangerous work. I mean, this some, sometimes this is life or death. <laughs> oh, man. The camera caught by an aerator spike. So, what are we doing today? Yesterday, we came out here. We did a bunch of work on the green, and we started doing more work on the fairway project. And I had a camera with me, and we put it on video, and I don't have anywhere to put it, so I'm going to put it here. <laughs> if you want to watch it, watch it. If you don't, Netflix is running a special tonight. So anyways, this is the fairway project. It's a cool season overseed of Bermuda. Annual rye. One seed level has been germinated and is growing. The second seed is about to germinate tonight. And I'll show you that in the next video. But my green has been looking great. It was heavily seeded with a dwarf blue but i wanted to come back and fill it in even more and i wanted to get some of this creeping bent to germinate i've been struggling with that so that's what we did and what we did was we came out here we aerated it i scraped it really hard with a rake to create these channels i'll show you that heavily seeded it then we rolled it and then we watered it and thank god yes last night it rained all night nice and light today we've got some more rain so perfect first rain we've had in what nine ten days so this project is coming out great if you see these orange flags it's a brand new product we're working on for 2021 you guys will love it more testing being done but anyways all i'm gonna do is i want to put this up on video show you what we did like i said if you don't want to watch it go watch netflix click subscribe i'll talk to you later Bye. I really don't want to mess up this green because it looks so nice and it's putting so nice. But the problem is, is that the majority of this that's on there now is this dwarf blue. And I want to establish a little bit of this dwarf creeping bent. And I finally got some more in, so... So, yes, I'm out of breath. This is the hardest thing I do all month. I don't know what it is. I have to put all my weight on the rake. It's just exhausting, it wipes you out. But I don't want to repeatedly rake this. All I want to do is one pass to score a line. I don't want to dig out all the roots and grass. 
and that line will hold some seed. Let me show you. So this is what I'm talking about. So that's a score line. That's what all I'm doing. And then I'll come back with a heavy overseed and now we'll overseed this. So I want to show you just how fine this seed, this seed is. Look at that. <laughs> it's like powder. It's just like powder. And you can barely see it. You can barely see it. Barely see it on top of the soil. So this is why I only have to score it lightly and then we'll just run the big real mower over it. We won't even get a heavy roller. We'll just run a real mode over it real quick and just push it all down and keep it wet, keep it, and keep it wet, mist, mist, mist. So here I am almost a day and a half later. We had a uh, really good rains, light rains all night long the other night. And then last night and yesterday was cloudy and rainy. Last night we had a couple storms, so I got leaves everywhere. Man, it's about time. I gotta come out. We've had some warm weather and because we've put out some balanced out here and some humid char, my Bermuda is starting to grow again. So I gotta come out here and cut this. So it's been three days since I did the second overseeding on this annual rye and I've got germination. That's pretty quick. Whenever you have a light cloudy rain, man, it just really makes this stuff germinate. The grain probably won't germinate. That stuff takes like seven days to germinate. Um, but I think we'll have a good germination. It's just wonderful temperatures, but look at this. So I talked about this the other day that you can see the first germination is all green and then look at the second germination it comes up almost red yellow so this is the second and this stuff is the first this really fine stuff this really fine um cool season grass like rise when you keep it you got to keep it a little bit longer and it does not cut real well with a real mower so the other day i ordered a brand new mower that is um really kind of cool and i'm gonna make sure you click subscribe because i'm gonna do a review on it and i'm also gonna take it down to the beach house so i got my um architectural as it is drawings from the architect and I'm starting to work on that. And so we got a bunch of stuff going on down there. And I'm going to take you down there probably for a whole week coming up. And we'll do work down there because I'm going to oversee that lawn as well too. So uh, that's about it guys. Click subscribe and I'll talk to you later. Doc.